take an FTIR, what you have to do is, this sample holder place is empty. You have to take the background scan of the, sample, of the empty sample holder. To do that, in our instrument, we have uh, a background icon over here. And we just click on that. This, what this does is, it takes a scan of the background to cancel from the FTIR that we're going to get for a sample to give us more accurate results. So here you see is the background. And this, these peaks will get canceled from the FTIRs we're going to conduct. This is the basic setup of the uh, instrument. You have these covers. This goes in here. And you have your slides. These are barium fluoride slides, which are to be cleaned. Now, if you're using an oil-based sample, you have to use xylene to clean them. If you're using a water-based sample, you have to use water to clean them. So right now the sample I have is an oil-based sample. So I will clean them with xylene. Yeah. So you take a few drops of xylene, nothing too much, on a piece of tissue. There's normally other things too you can use to clean as well, but this is quite convenient. And you will have these in your lab as well. So just rub it in. Take both the slides. Make sure you don't drop them because these slides are expensive and sensitive. OK, so uh, here I have them. These are all cleaned up. And they will now be used for the FTIR. So make sure you place this slide inside the cup that you have here. Okay. So this is the whole setup. I'm going to use a sample. Also to remember not to use a lot of sample while doing the FTIR. So use as less sample as you can because this is going to affect the FTIR. What I'm going to do is just place a small speck And this actually should be enough. It's very small, very, very small sample. If you have a lot of sample, it will cause spreading and transmittance issues. So you want as little sample as possible. Then you place your cover slide on top of your slide. And this is used to close. Now make sure, sorry. Now what I do is I'll place the screws diagonally. This ensures proper closing of the of the cover. And it shouldn't be too tight, it shouldn't be too loose, because you want an, a decent uh, parallel uh, straight line, actually. Fixed path length, as we call it. And this is ready. So this is the machine we have in our lab. And this is a sample holder place. You put it in. So, hello again, yeah. So I put the uh, sample inside the FTIR machine, and I'm gonna, now going to scan the sample. Just press scan. It's automatic. It's going to scan the whole sample. And oh, here we are. The sample has been scanned. And we can see the fingerprints that we have here. And then you go on to compare. I mean, in our instrument, we have this facility. We go to compare. And we have it comparing a certain standard that we have in our labs. So this one is saying it's using RS-7133. And I'm going to hit compare. Please pass. All right. So we have a correlation of 98%, which is, which is good enough, which is good enough to show that the sample is matching its standard. And here, as we can see, it's matching.